Hello everyone, and welcome to 3 Minute Reviews, where I review the latest games. Today, I'm going to talk about Pacific Drive, a first person driving survival game that was released last week. Pacific Drive is developed by Ironwood Studios, a new indie studio that has created a unique and immersive experience that will test your skills as a driver and a survivalist. Pacific Drive is set in the Olympic Exclusion Zone, a mysterious area in the Pacific Northwest that has been sealed off by the government. After a series of experiments went wrong, the zone is filled with strange and dangerous anomalies, such as tornadoes, lightning storms, and pulsating creatures that can damage your car and yourself. You play as the driver, a silent protagonist who has a special connection to a station wagon that you can customize and upgrade with various parts and gadgets. Your goal is to explore the zone, scavenge for resources, and find a way to escape. The game is divided into junctions, which are procedurally generated maps that you can access from your garage. Each junction has different terrain, weather, and anomalies that you have to deal with. You can also find cabins, workshops, and other locations that contain loot, clues, and secrets. The game has a day and night cycle, and you have to manage your car's fuel, battery, tires, and health, as well as your own hunger, thirst, and radiation levels. You also have to repair and maintain your car, which can get damaged by the environment and the anomalies. The game is challenging and unforgiving, and you can die or lose your car at any moment. The game's strongest aspect is the car itself, which is one of the best vehicles I've ever seen in a video game. The car is not just a means of transportation, but a character and a companion. You can customize it with different colors, decals, armor, weapons, scanners, and other cool features. You can also interact with the car's interior, such as the radio, the dashboard, the glove box, and the trunk. The car has a personality and a voice, and it will react to your actions and the environment. The car is also haunted by ghosts, which will sometimes appear in the rearview mirror, the windows, or the seats. The car's story and origin are mysterious and intriguing, and you will discover more about it as you progress. The game's graphics and sound are also impressive, especially for an indie game. The game has a retro-futuristic aesthetic, with a mix of 80s and 90s nostalgia and sci-fi elements. The game's visuals are colorful and detailed, and the game's lighting and shadows are realistic and dynamic. The game's sound design is immersive and atmospheric, and the game's music is catchy and fitting. The game's voice acting is also well done, with the car's voice being the highlight. The game's main flaw is the gameplay loop, which can get repetitive and frustrating after a while. The game's difficulty curve is steep, and the game's randomness can be unfair and punishing. The game's anomalies are varied and interesting, but they can also be annoying and overwhelming. The game's resources are scarce and hard to find, and the game's crafting and upgrading system is complex and confusing. The game's exploration and scavenging can be rewarding and fun, but they can also be tedious and boring. The game's story and lore are intriguing and mysterious, but they are also vague and sparse. Overall, Pacific Drive is a game that has a lot of potential and originality, but also a lot of flaws and frustrations. It is a game that will appeal to fans of survival games, driving games, and sci-fi games, but it is also a game that will test your patience and perseverance. It is a game that will make you love and hate your car, and it is a game that will make you wonder and fear what lies beyond the wall. I give Pacific Drive a score of 7.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.